Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and actually welcome back to the um, experimental build which we um, checked out last episode where the new lasers and surface grids and stuff were included but yeah there was actually something that I didn't actually touch up on which was included but I had no clue it was in there I, had, I literally didn't see anyone mention this or any notes about it um, but what that feature is if we uh, just quickly spawn in a random exoplanet here so we've got a random, yeah, a random rocky then if we just open the menu then go to surface if we just quickly add an atmosphere so let's just go like that okay so it's got an atmosphere and then if we go to the appearance options there's now an atmosphere color now this this um was in the was here in the previous video i just never saw it i had no um no um thoughts to even look at it but now you can finally mod planet atmospheres in game so like the very first stages of modding you can actually do in the game now that's awesome that is so, so, so awesome that they have done that. Really, really cool. They've listened to like um, what the community said with that. I doubt my video had any effect um, of them adding this, but I know they did see it, so maybe, uh, maybe not. But yeah, really, really cool to see it. They've listened and actually added this in. And yeah, just props to them for adding it. Really, really cool and good to see it. You can now mod atmosphere colors in game. Sadly, you can't make the atmospheres any thicker. Like you can't turn it into a Venus-like object. So for instance, if I um, spawn in one of my green templates here so the yeah where is it the the full green one here so we're gonna go ahead and place that in so yeah there it is there you can't sadly make atmospheres thick like this still you still have to mod the game files to do that but obviously if you want to get objects like this you can easily find um custom ones made on the workshop and you could just recustomize those to get them however you wanted for instance like you can literally make any color you want on the like literally anything which is so 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 cool that they have finally done this and it's yeah it's kind of cool to see sort of what you can create i mean that looks quite cool actually but yeah just colors that probably never would have been able to be made with modding you can now just all do it with the color bar here which is really really cool and yeah just really really welcome feature i'm pretty sure everyone who plays the game would will really enjoy this because yeah this is um definitely a very very um <laughs> Very, very wanted feature. I mean, people have always wanted to be able to change atmosphere colours in games. So now you can do it. No problem. You can literally just make any colour you want. So if you want to make your own custom Venus, probably uh, not too much of a challenge now. So it's just, for instance, we could quickly try and make one. That looks more like a Titan, actually. But yeah, we could probably make a pretty decent custom Venus now. I mean, I think that looks better than the, the regular Venus in game anyway. I mean, yeah, you could, if you don't have access to like the workshop or anything, you could probably make a better looking venus than the one in the game now so yeah really really cool stuff and definitely a really good step in the right direction like i said really really cool um to see this added into the game and yeah very very nice job and well done to the developers for adding this because yeah really really cool and yeah there we go so yeah that is all in the game now really really good to see but yeah moving on there's actually a way you can actually do stuff on here as well which i didn't show off last episode and that is to do with um add in like um certain water so if we go ahead and spawn the earth and you can change like the height maps on earth for instance so um if we go here and then i believe it is on these settings here the wh where is it the uh where are we the, this span to radius thing if you change this number it changes how high the land is from the sea so as you can as we can see with climate mode on we've basically raised all the continents higher above sea level so now all of the continents are ice cold because they're so high above sea level we can also see that some parts of the sea have actually raised above the sea as well which is or, or raised above yeah like some of the sea surface is actually above the um the surface of the water now which is really cool so you could make this insane you could have the whole earth frozen or you could actually lower the land and have the whole earth underwater but this is we haven't changed any of the water the water it still has the same amount of water but we can literally change how high the land is above the water which is really really awesome i mean look you can now really really have as much water as you want now so you don't have to keep clicking clicking the uh the plus and the minus here to get exactly what you w w or what you want you can now just do it on here which is going to make creating objects a lot easier and that is very very cool to see really really like that and yeah just it's really cool to see this um update being made honestly i mean very nice job indeed i mean there we go pretty much back to where we started there but that is that is awesome so stuff with climate mode so earth and mars they'll be the probably the best two to um try this um on as well but it probably will work with um the other textures in the game as well so for instance let's do it with mars so if we add a bit of water here all right, so it's all going to be frozen that's fine but then if we increase the um, i'm gonna have to get used to working out where this is so it's this value here so let's just uh make it higher will that do anything oh no if we make it lower i think is what we need to do here is that gonna do anything may have uh, put too much water on here let's see um, is it gonna 
Anything? No? I think we've put a little too much on here. And one thing we'll do is we'll warm up Mars as well. Let's put it to you know, 50 degrees. Let's get that melted. There we go. Oh, no, it's because there wasn't even any water on the surface. So we actually need to put water on the surface first. So, can we... Can we no? You're not having it? Okay, that's... Um, you can do... That's all right. Let's just, let's just put it around the star. I think that'd be easier to do. Oh, no, ha never mind. The water is in the North Pole up there for some reason. Maybe I broke it. But yeah, the water is there. Oh, no, I did hear it does take time for it to load, as we can see. Yeah, actually, no, this is true. I, I heard it, it does take time for the water to actually load on the planet. So as you can see, look, even without increasing the water, it is slowly spreading across the surface. So yeah, adding water, you've got to be a little patient now because um, getting it exactly the way it needs to be, you've got to be a little more... Yeah, you've got, you've got to be patient there because it takes time for the water to spread out. So uh, I'm not being patient, so it probably won't even work at the moment. But let's just, let's just, um, to speed up things, let's just spawn in a terraform Mars maybe, just so we have all the water. Okay, so let's just put this in here. Oh, never mind, that's, that's broke. I think these are all, yeah, there's one thing as well is this update seems to break modded objects. A lot of modded objects have been broken because they've changed something in the code, which really does suck. But, well, oh well. So, any water on there? Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, as you can see, the, it is still quite buggy. And you, I'm assuming that um, once they finish the update completely, hopefully the water won't take this long to load. But yeah, you can see it's taking uh, quite a while to load. So yeah, um, yeah we'll, we'll scratch that on Mars and we'll just keep it um, with Earth. And actually, we, we can try it on a... Let's just try it on a random moon as well. So let's just go ahead and uh, do that. And then um, put the moon here. Then we want to add some water to it. That actually looks quite similar to Ganymede, actually, but um, let's go ahead and put some water on it. Okay, so there we go. So then if we just increase the... Oh, it's really weird these settings will move. So, yeah, this... So if we increase... Yes, there you go. So it works on um, objects like this as well. You won't have to change the amount of water the planet has. You can just simply increase how high the land is above sea level, which is... Really, really awesome. Yeah, all to do with the uh, new height map stuff. So that's just a slight... Um, I'm obviously no pro with this. I haven't really read anything about how this actually works. I've just been told and had a little play of it myself. So take this as like a beginner playing around with this. I guess I'm no pro with this. And yeah, I'm just doing this all um, on first impressions. I haven't like tried this before or anything, hardly. I've literally only done it once. So yeah, still pretty much first impressions here. Not too much um, experience with this at all. But yeah, just having a little play around with it. I think this is really, really awesome, like, the way this works. Like, you can really get the sea level exactly how you want it now. And before, that was really, really annoying. But, you, look, you can literally, like, every little click to the plus, it just makes tiny changes. Like, you can really, really get what you want now of this. And, yeah, it's really, really cool. And, yeah, very, very awesome indeed. So, yeah, there we go. That is everything I sort of missed in the last episode to show off. So, apologies for that. But, yeah, I definitely, um, definitely want to get another video out just um, showing the stuff which is um, missing. Because, um, yeah, we can't really show off some of the stuff and um, not all of it so yeah really really awesome and yeah the atmosphere colors definitely i think it's my going to be my favorite change in here as well but yeah remember keep in mind if you are going to play on this version it's still an experimental um as we can see as well and yeah your modded objects there has been a massive hit to modded objects in this update a lot of them are broken now which hopefully won't be the case when the update releases but if it is that's the case then oh well we'll just have to move on from it but oh well oh well <laughs> not really too much we can do uh, um, in those regards, but yeah, that is everything for today's video guys So make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're more helps on the journey to 10,000 subscribers as well And yeah, just thanks for watching the video and to and continue coming back to all of them Just massive. Thanks to all of you guys and yeah, that is everything. So I'll see you guys in the next video Goodbye